what, what, what are we seeing here? What we're showing is our next gen chip. It's called GF100. It's built on the Fermi architecture. And this is going to show the capabilities of the chip. So what we have in here, uh, what we have here is a demo. Um, it's a tool that NVIDIA Engineering created to show off the X11 with tessellation and advanced physics, which is our physics technology. Okay, and how many, how many GeForce 100 are, are you using to do that right, right now? Right now I'm only using one. You're using one. But in, one card. And then the box are three. And the box are three. Yeah, but we're not using two. Okay. Just using one. People kept asking, do you need three? Yeah. I'm wondering how you don't need three. Okay, right. so just uh, running on one card right now. Right now, yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn on physics. You can see what's going on in the background. I'm going to enable linear velocity here, so that you can see all of the independent elements and how the, the idling of the engine and the force from it are making all of these interact with each other. Back so up. everything blue is emitting some some physics force. Yeah. The blue triangles over there. I don't know what the blue ones are exactly. Those might be fixed objects. Uh, okay. I'm gonna back up here and show you that all of the base here is also modeled in physics. Mm -hmm. Now when I hit the engine, you're gonna see forced vector lines come out from the sled. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. You can see it pulling it along here, and you can see exactly how each of those physics objects is interacting with each other. And the idea here is to show a more, give a more realistic experience in one that's never the same twice. It's really important. Now, this, 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 the smoke coming off this engine is volumetric, it's completely simulated, mm -hmm. and it will interact with all the phys X model objects on the screen. Ah, I see. It's deflected. Now, as this thing moves down the track, the shack is also modeled in phys X. This That's archway is modeled in phys X. Oh, wow. It just hit me. <laughs> I see. And destroyed me. <laughs> oh, poor guy. The thing I want to show you is cool about all of this is that you know if you're in like a first person game there's construction going on. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some chickens at this thing. Poor chicken. I'm gonna fire this off, hit the rocket boosters, and you oh, see it still works. <laughs> That's great. You know, it's all completely you know, They're all interacting with each other like, like they're supposed to, how they're programmed. Okay, now give me a high score, Sean. One more thing to show you. Okay, but then I will... Tessellation. Then okay. I will get your high score. Okay. Tessellation is probably one of the coolest things to be actually It used to be that, you know, in the background, mountains would be large polygons, high resolution bitmaps, and the closer you got, the worse it looked, right? Well, tessellation... We can dramatically increase the amount of geometry. Oh, I see. I see. So it really makes for a more highly detailed world. Okay. I'm gonna watch him fall and die. Poor guy, no parachute. Oh, we missed it. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the idea of this is a game, engineering uh, a little too much time on our hands, turn this into a game. The idea is to get the sled from here to the end of the track and stop the fastest time possible ah. without flying off the edge of the cliff. So, so no drag race, but drag race with brake. <laughs> we don't want to go off the cliff. That was the shag? No, we're not going to make it. Oh, All right. Oh. Let me try again. Okay, last try. One minute of video left. Wow. You cheated, didn't you? No, I didn't. What's that? Okay, got to stop. Past that. Oh, I didn't get a high score. No high score. That's me is cleaving. <laughs> yeah, I had it yesterday. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot, Sean. Thank you.